just after the accident. You were in a coma for a week, I think, after the accident. Talk me through the timeline of how, you know, when you woke up, how events unfolded, how you dealt with that personally, and how, you know, not very long afterwards, a year and a half, you ended up back in a racing car. Well, the key moment, I think, was uh, when I woke up, and again, I can't take any credit for that because that's character, I guess. It's something that you either have or not. Uh, and every one of us is different. And I've seen a lot of people who surprise themselves with a very similar reaction to what happened to me. But instead of asking myself, how am I going to live with no legs? I simply ask myself, how the hell am I going to do all the things that I have to do with no legs? Which meant that I was rather curious than depress and yeah. that opened for me the door to to a new life where London Rio de Janeiro and all the nice things that are filling my life these days were the horizon yeah. but I didn't need to get to that horizon to be happy happiness was right there available to enjoy as uh, as I was alive. I was happy to be alive, as simple as and that. And that was the overriding feeling? Because, I mean, when you wake up from that coma and somebody tells you, presumably, the, the situation, how serious it was, how seriously close to death you, you came, I mean, how do you... What was your initial reaction? Were you always that positive? Or was there not an initial reaction where you plummeted to a, to a low? I understand it's very hard for you, uh, as an outside observer, to, to take this and to accept it, but and I certainly do not wish you to find yourself in such a situation, but when it really happens to you, then evidently uh, you finally pose the question to you, to yourself, in the right way. Because I've asked myself, how would I react if something like this would happen to me? And the answer I gave me was I would kill myself, but I was never even close to, you that, know. That's what you thought beforehand? That's exactly. What you, really? Exactly. And so you surprised yourself with how you, you kind of yes, dealt with I it? Yes, I was simply happy to be alive. I yeah. mean, that was by far. I mean, uh, of course I was not happy for what happened, but uh, I was so joyful to be alive. Probably because although I didn't realize technically what happened into that week in, in which I was into an induced coma, Nevertheless, I had, a, I had a great sense because of, what, of, the, of the way I felt. I was in such a horrific pain. I was uh, uh, so confused. I was fed at the time with so much drug to reduce the amount of pain I had, which, uh, you know, I was trying to say things and words were coming out of my mouth only 10 seconds later, you know? So that was a very weird sensation, but that also gave me the sense of what I had already placed behind myself. And I knew at that point that although I felt terribly, from that moment onwards, things could, could only get better. What a great way to look at it. Uh, how quickly did things start to, to turn towards getting back to racing again then after that? Um, in, in, in the days where I was you know, regaining energies, capability of interact with other people, uh, I had to answer that question quite often, you know, will you ever jump or step into a race car again in the future? And I can completely understand where that question was coming from, but at the moment, at the time, for me, it was not really relevant because uh, I could not be independent, neither to, you know, go in the bathroom and do my own business on my own. I had to be helped. So that, by far, was on the top of my priority list to regain what it takes to live my life independently. And I knew because I'd seen other people in similar situations overcoming the same problems I was then facing, that that was possible. So that was my total focus was on that. And I knew at that time, I didn't have to wait a year and a half to find an out that if I would step into a race car having what would serve me the possibility to, to drive that car. Uh, I didn't have to wait that moment to know that I was the same driver as before. I knew then. So that was the only way I could answer the question. I said, if ever down the road I will have the technical possibility to control the car, I will be the same driver as before. Nothing has changed up here.
and you know, I'm glad, especially for my ego, I was able to prove that down the road.